For this molecule, we need to come up with the IUPAC name. Okay, so step one, find the longest continuous chain. So I think that's just going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's the longest. So that would be oct. You might say, yeah, but what if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? You see, that's only going to give us seven. Okay, so that's oct. Now we need to decide whether we should name it from the left or from the right. We are definitely going to choose the right because we are trying to make the branch numbers as low as possible. So if you look carefully, there is a branch over here, okay? And then there's also a branch over here, and then there's another branch over here. So the branch is on carbon number two and also on carbon number three. Now, many, many, many learners make the mistake of saying that this part over here is a eth, ethyl. The reason that they do that is they say, oh, look, there's one carbon and two carbons. Two means eth, but that is not correct. You need to look at each branch. So look at this branch. That's only one carbon. That's meth. Look at this one. That's only one carbon. That's meth. If it was if it was something like this, where there was that, then if you look at this branch um, over here, that is two carbons, okay? So there's a difference. You need to make sure that you understand that. Okay, and then this branch is chloro for chlorine. So we have to use the alphabet. So C always comes before M. So we'll start with chloro. So chloro is on carbon number two. So we'll say two hyphen chloro. Then I'm going to just move that up a little bit. Then on carbon number three, there are two branches. So we'll say three comma three. And then you're going to say that that is a methyl. Okay, let me just write that a bit better. Methyl. But because there's two of them, you're going to say dye. Like that. And then this molecule is a halo alkane because it's got a halogen. So this is a halo alkane. Halo alkanes end with A-N-E, just like alkanes do. So that is the name of this, 2-chloro-3,3-dimethyl-octane.